Martin, if you don't mind, I'm going to let the young man get into action here because, okay. as you can see, there are three different jars here. What are we studying? Because when we were, I walked up to you, you said, would you like to learn about the, and what did you tell me? Greenhouse gas, oh, greenhouse. Um, effect. <laughs> yeah, but here you are talking about the greenhouse, and you're in second grade. So tell me, and Mr. Kobrick as well, because we're both a little rusty, tell us again what the greenhouse effect is. Um, it's polluting the earth with gases yes. that are called greenhouse gases. Mr. Kobrick does that every once in a while. <laughs> this <laughs> happens you. to be uh, for, for like cars, and what are, the, what are the gases? Um... Just bad gases. CO2. Kind of, oh, and look what you have here is a tank of... CO2. What does that stand for? Carbon... Carbon dioxide. Good job. So, Mr. Cobra, I'm going to move the... Oh, oh what okay. is this? So we can move this out of the way. What does this represent? It's the sun. It's the, the sun. sun. Look at that. The sun. I'm going to move the sun out of the way. Okay. It's amazing how easily the sun can move like that. So <laughs> you have Steve three jars here. Tell us what's in the first jar, because this is the control. What's in here? It's dirt. It's just dirt, right? Just dirt. And what's inside this one? Oh, here. Let's do this one over here. What's inside this one? It's the rainforest with right? dirt. It's the rainforest with dirt. And you can kind of see the temperature there. It's 71 degrees. If we can go back and take a look at that again. Look at this one, the green forest. Oh, there it is. It says, if I can read it correctly, 71 degrees. Very, very nice. Then if you pan over here to the control, which is the middle one here, what temperature is that one? A little hard to read because it's kind of foggy, <laughs> isn't it? It's a little foggy here. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn it around so I can take a look at it. It is 79 degrees. Oh. So that's what this one is, the control. Okay. Tell me what's over here. What's inside this one? Greenhouse gases. Yeah, and so how did you do it? What 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 is this? Mm, a tube. A tube. So you take the carbon dioxide here and you opened it up, right? And what yeah. did you do? We put it in as much as we could. Good, and sealed it up, and then put the sun there. What's the temperature reading over here on the one with with the carbon dioxide? Can we see it? I want to turn it and take a look. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. I can tell you a little bit earlier. This one was at eighty one. This one was at about seventy nine. And see how cool this one is. What does this teach us? Wait, wait, this has the gases in there, but you also put other things. Can you see the other things that are inside here? Yeah. Uh, can I reach in and pull them out? Because I'm going to break the seal. Um, Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So, oh, perfect. Let me reach in. Look at this. I see this little guy in here. There's this. What does that represent? It represents the car. The cars. Right. And there's another car that's here. I love this one. What's, what, what are these things? These are... Pigs and pigs animals. Pigs and animals over there. I didn't mean to drop the pig or the animal. Do they represent <laughs> gases as well? So they're yes. kind of producing some gases there. What uh, So it shows us that when you have carbon dioxide trapped, what happens? Um, it makes the uh, really hot. Right, and what happens when the earth gets hot? It like, makes the earth hot and it, the ice caps melt. That's and, right. Yeah. When Mr. Kobrick went to Alaska, he noticed that those glaciers were kind of <laughs> starting to disappear. And I've been there many times, Saul. And wacky weather, Great right? job. Good experiment, wacky I weather. must say. Thank you. That is a fascinating. No wonder Steve Isn't loved it so much. is amazing? This one over here, that lowest temperature. With lowest temperature. Yeah. This is a real science fair project.